Fernando Pimentel of Behind the Gloves here with 2016 Olympian Carlos ba Baldera. Baldera, um, Mexican American, uh, born in the United States, representing your country. How does it feel that in a couple of weeks you'll be in the Olympics representing your country in the sport of boxing? Yeah, man, it's, it's a big, big, it's a great feeling for me, you know, because I know that this is something I've been working for since I was seven. And um, it's something my family and everybody has always looked forward to. As a kid, they would always tell me, uh, we know you're going to become an Olympian. You know, we know you could become an Olympian. And um, I always thought they were just saying that to say it, but I didn't really realize how close I was to making the team. And so maybe I was like 15, 16. Um, and then I seen, um, you know, not disrespect to any of the 2012 team, but I really believe that we could do a lot better this year. So I'm really looking forward to it. That's something I was going to ask, too. Do you believe that this team, you yourself included, can do better what the 2012 team has done? Because they, no one meddled in that one. And so far, the Olympians that became pro haven't really done all that well. Do you think you guys could do better? I mean, yeah, like I said, no disrespect to them. You know, they're all good friends. But I, I, think, I think we could do a lot better this year because uh, everybody in the team is young, is hungry. You know, I mean, age, they say, is a big, big factor in this, you know, because of experience. But I think that um, a lot of these guys really, really want it. So, I mean, it's not just me. We got from the 108 to the 201 plus, they all, they all want, want to go after, you know. So, I mean, um, I'm really looking forward not just to my soft competition, but to my team's competition. Speaking of experience, we, you know, I was privileged to see you right now actually spar Leo Santa Cruz, world champion of the world, 126. Talk to us about how that helps you in preparation for the Olympics, and not just only that, but the experience you get from working out with a guy like him. No, man, this guy's a great, great fighter, tough, tough fighter as well, and all this helps me because um, he, he switches it up too. He doesn't just have one style, you know, he could, he could move, you know, he could bang, you know, he could counter, so... He has a lot, a lot of good different styles that could help me out for the games, you know. So um, we've been getting a lot, a lot of great work from him. You know, I'm thankful for him and his camp, you know, for opening the doors to us because they've been nothing but good people to us. You know, him, Andres, his, his brothers, you know. So, you know, coming here, you know, just we know we're going to get some good work, you know. So, um, you know, I'm just thankful for, for them for opening the doors to us. Now back to inspiration of becoming a boxer and going into the Olympics. Obviously, you're uh, from up north here in Los Angeles. You're in uh, Santa Maria, California. Talk to us about the inspiration of become, coming from a small city like that into a big city like that in preparation for the Olympics. Um, my biggest inspiration, or my, you know, the person I would, I guess you could say I would look up to was uh, Fernando Vargas. I don't know if you're too familiar with him, but um, yeah, Fernando Vargas was probably one of my, he still is my favorite fighter, you know, because, um, and he was also a 1996 Olympian, so um, just looking at him, looking at his story, how he was brought up from a small town, getting into problems, and it became something, you know, from the Olympics into the pros, so um, it made me want to just follow into his footsteps, you know, so I was actually on the phone with him about like a week ago or two, and he was giving me some good advice, you know, so um, fighting, and then I, at the same time, I seen how we were pretty poor, you know, growing up and stuff, we were pretty poor, so I always knew I could provide for my family one day and you know I'm looking forward to doing that as well. Talk to us about if you can share a little bit of what uh, Fernando actually gave you what advice he told you about these upcoming Olympics and pretty much about you and your career. Well he actually knew already who I was you know he actually knew I was doing some making some noise in the games and he said uh, he said he wished me nothing but luck he said if we ever need something you know um, to give him a call and he just said you got to go out there and you got to take you got to want it bad because they could just snatch it from your hands especially because they don't like United States for some reason they just for some reason they just don't like United States they favor other countries but not us so he said you got to go out there you know you just be smart be focused stay away from the streets stay away from the parties gangs and girls you know stuff like that so he gave me some really good advice and um really really cool guy really cool guy now let the fans know who are going to see this video where they can follow you get to see you know 2016 the olympics get to see you your career follow you facebook twitter and get to know more about you my my facebook is carlos valeras but it's carlos with the k and then my instagram is also carlos valeras switch me up with the k and then um same for twitter just not carlos for twitter that's about it man y'all stay tuned all right, man, once again, Fernando Pimentel for Behind the Gloves here with 2016 Olympian Carlos Baldera saying we'll see you at the fights, and here's Michelle. And it's Michelle Joy Phelps, and if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you go ahead and do so by clicking this little icon right here, or else.